hello there dear youtubers my name is king1993 and today is another day of me trying to explain another important part of this game now to this topic we will be discussing about the color code okay now what do i mean by the color code well first of all in every game there are other either uh, star codes or color codes okay and in this game there are both of them so if we are able to understand the meaning of those color codes then what will happen is we will be able to play the game more efficiently by saving more resources okay so without further ado let's get started now first of all the first uh, one which i will be showing you is the color code of the weapons now there are one two three as you can see here three color codes so this <coughs> uh, green one is a three star weapon sorry i mean a two star weapon this is a two star weapon this blue one is a three star weapon and these purple one are let's see a four star weapon okay now you can get five star weapon from this echo section especially in the heart of midgard in this heart of midgard there is the selection area so once you have selected your favorite weapon all you have to do is to pull for that weapon for up to 60 times and within those 60 times you should be able to get those recommended <coughs> weapons okay now here is the thing i didn't use this uh, currency here which are called dg cash i didn't use any dg cash here the only thing that i used was this thing which i had gotten uh, for free but i still hadn't gotten any six uh, sorry five star weapon yet okay and what this does is basically it lowers the overall percentage of not getting the weapon so you would rather choose which weapon you want to get and then get them okay now the question remains is okay when it comes to the weapon in the echo section you can actually see the star level but where can you see the star level of the other weapon well go to this operative section and click and you as you can see here every character is given a weapon but once you click on this weapon section you will be able to see what star level are this weapon so this <coughs> purple one is a four star weapon and let's see these blue one are three star weapon so obviously the green one are two star weapon okay but here is another advice that you must need to understand 100 percently properly that it is not worth upgrading the blue weapon or the three star weapon why because the three star weapon are gonna be quickly replaced by this purple one because the purple one is a bit uh time consuming but a lot less time consuming compute uh, compared to the orange color one so at the end of the day what will happen is you will be able to get a lot of purple weapon and you will be able to upgrade them now why upgrade the purple weapon and not the blue one because the resources in this game are very limited so if you were to spend all of your resources on blue color weapon and this green color weapon eventually what will happen is that you will eventually realize these weapons are not that much good in terms of overall damage output <coughs> when both of these weapon of this purple and the blue color will be maxed you will see that the purple color weapon will be doing more damage so you would rather not spend any resources on this blue one rather you will have to salvage this blue weapon for this purple color ones so that's the thing that you have to understand okay now other than that if you say okay are there any other places to get the purple color weapon yes there is so if you go to the shop section here you'll see that every day this <coughs> uh, purple color weapon will change okay and you will be able to get one for free now how many types of weapon are there in this game there are total five types of weapons so how do you understand that well if you go to this operative section here and click on this you will see that there are one two three four five there are total five categories of weapon submachine gun sniper shotgun pistol assault rifle okay so if you click on each of them obviously it will show you different types of weapon so what i am saying that you must need to have at the beginning of the game at least five types of weapon okay and what are those five types uh machine gun the, this is the submachine gun this is the shotgun this is the uh, 
these two are assault rifle i okay wait this one is also shotgun this one is a sniper weapon i think yeah this is a sniper rifle uh this is a pistol so the only one that i do not have here is the uh assault rifle so i do not have assault rifle but the assault rifle they are gonna look something like this okay that was a sniper mm, i don't see an assault rifle here okay this is the assault rifle okay so this is what the assault rifle are gonna be looking like in this game okay so don't get confused at least have five different types of weapons so that you can play five different types of character okay now other than that uh the question remains is uh those resources where can you get those resources well you'll have to play this stage okay the main story up to chapter four completely and once you have done that you will be taken to some of this place here okay this operation area and then you will be able to get more of these resources from this place here okay now i think uh this one is especially written here that uh obtain experience obtain open experience material so in this place you will get uh experience materials for weapon and obviously for upgrading a weapon you will also need some ascension material okay so this one is a uh, weapon ascension material so at first you will have to max out a weapon up to a certain level and then you will have to ascension those weapon to get even more level upgrade so basically a good example would be i have uh ascended this weapon so this weapon was up to level 20 uh it didn't require any ascension so after 20 it requires ascension and i used those ascension material and eventually made this weapon into a maximum level of uh, 30 now i do not know how much the maxed out this weapon is gonna be because the game is relatively new and it's gonna take about a month to get the character to their max potential so from that point of perspective i would say that whichever essential material you need go to that place which i had that shown okay now are there anything else well uh let's see i have covered the weapon color type weapon star type and weapon category type the last thing you have to understand about the weapon that each character have their own weapon uh what should i call it own weapon recommendation so how do you get that click on any character you like and then click on view details and then click on recommendation once you do that then you will see that these are the recommended weapons for this character here so this is the best quality weapon for this character so the stardust memory now you can see that the compatibility level is lower now first thing you'll have to understand you have to completely put this compatibility thing out of the window why because this compatibility thing is actually not made part of the character's weapon category then what is the main part of this character weapons category it is what is recommended in this section here so if you want to get a certain weapon or certain logistic material you will have to come to this place okay so <coughs> by doing so you will be able to understand which weapon will suit the character base for example this is an ice type character and which is why she is given an ice type weapon now what about her uh four star variation now in her four star variation click on this view details and go to the recommendation and then click on this weapon here once you do that you will see that this character is actually a lightning type character which is why if you were to give this lightning type weapon to this character then this character will be able to do a lot more damage now what is this weapon name work in progress and this one is arctic fox so work in progress do i have this weapon uh, let's uh, let's check if i have this weapon so work in progress yes i do have this weapon but uh this weapon i have given it to some other character which i shouldn't have done so so i'll eventually have to uh, change and give, give it to this one okay and i'll have to give wild hunt uh another weapon and it is not gonna be the, this one it is gonna be this one okay confirm so 
by doing so what will happen is i have overall increased the overall uh efficiency of the character and their weapon thing okay so basically speaking the weapon which uh this character is holding okay and that is basically the maximum recommendation for this character so if this is the maximum recommendation then why is the compatibility compatibility not near 100 well i think this is a different gaming mechanic which is relatively new and i as a new gamer to this game i actually cannot say what this compatibility is for so overall all i'm gonna say is once all of these things are done and you want to play a main story okay uh, let's uh, go to the section which i have already played and let's say you want to start a gameplay and obviously you want the top tier character what can you do just uh, change the character okay something like this and now you should be able to do maximum amount of damage to the enemy by using proper material so that's basically how you are going to be playing this game okay remember the color code remember which type of weapon to get from what type of places which weapon is most recommended for which type of character and all of this stuff if you are able to memorize all of this stuff properly from this video then this will be able to help you in the long run now if you find this video interesting then please give a like and subscribe and click the bell notification icons to get more of this type of topic on a regular basis thank you and see you again next time